A lot of people use air purifiers at home. A good number also use humidifiers. Some people even have both. Both an air purifier and a humidifier do great things to improve indoor air. But it can be difficult to understand which option is best for your particular needs. For example, both products are great for people with sinus and respiratory issues. However, the way they offer relief is different. But do you know what qualities make these devices the same and what makes them different? In this post, we're going to explore the air purifier vs humidifier question so you get a clear understanding of how each of these powerful machines works. By the end of this video, you'll know once and for all, do you need an air purifier or humidifier in your home or both? Air purifier vs humidifier. The main difference between an air purifier and a humidifier is that air purifiers are designed to clear the air of allergens dust, mold, and control odors. Humidifiers control the humidity level in a room and do nothing to control air quality or the numbers of particles in the air. Difference between air purifier and humidifier. Although you may assume that air purifiers and humidifiers can be used interchangeably, this simply is not the case. Watch on to find out why. Air purifier. What does an air purifier do? An air purifier's purpose is to remove a variety of airborne contaminants from your indoor air. It traps and removes dust particles, bacteria, allergens, mold spores, pet dander, smoke odors, and other harmful particles. When your air purifier runs, it sucks your home's air into the machine and through a series of filters. One of these filters is often called a HEPA filter, and it can capture tiny particles down to 0.3 microns. The true HEPA version of this filter is 99.97% effective at removing airborne contaminants that irritate allergies, asthma, and other respiratory conditions. If you're wondering what are HEPA filters made of, then it's a tightly woven set of plastic and fiberglass threads that allow air to pass through while trapping particles that are larger than the openings within the material. Keep in mind that an air purifier doesn't add any moisture back into the air. It only functions to clean and filter out the pollution. Humidifier. What does a humidifier do? A humidifier's main function is to add moisture back into your home's air. It does this by pumping water vapor into a room that may or may not be visible. Compare that to a humidifier vs dehumidifier where the latter removes water vapor from the air. To keep the humidifier running, you must continue to add water to a reservoir. It converts this water into a fine mist and expels it into the surrounding air. V humidifiers are best used in dry areas because they add moisture back into the air. Humidifiers can help relieve dry skin, throat irritation, sinus issues, nosebleeds, and breathing problems you may experience by being in an arid climate. It's important to know that a humidifier raises a room's relative humidity level. If you already have high humidity levels, this can encourage mold growth. Therefore, you want your indoor humidity levels to stay between 30% and 50%. Below 30% is considered too dry and can cause the issues we mentioned in the last paragraph. Over 50% humidity can encourage mold growth, dust mite reproduction, and mildew. Types of air purifiers, HEPA filtration. This is a highly dense filter that traps airborne contaminants. A true HEPA filter is the best kind to look for on an air purifier because it's certified to remove 99.97% of all particles as small as 0.3 microns and it's good for removing pollutants like allergens, particulate matter, dust, visible smoke, and pet dander. Carbon filtration. This filter contains a special form of activated carbon that traps gases, odors, chemicals, and volatile organic compounds, Vox. It helps keep a home smelling fresh and reduces toxic substances that are in the air. Negative ionization. This air cleaning technology emits charged ions into the air that latch onto airborne contaminants. This process weights particles down so they can be more easily captured by the internal air filters as well as causes pollutants to fall onto the floor. This process can remove ultrafine particles down to 0.1 microns ultraviolet UV light. This is a special light that kills airborne bacteria and viruses by destroying their molecular DNA structure. As air passes through the air purifier, the UV light zaps microorganisms and pathogens so that the air flowing back into the room is sterilized and clean. Types of humidifiers. Warm mist. These humidifiers heat up water with a gentle boiling process to produce a warm mist that you can see and feel in the air. Cool mist. These humidifiers contain a filter that traps sediment, minerals, and other impurities while delivering a cool and visible mist that evaporates into the air. 
Ultrasonic, these humidifiers use a metal diaphragm that vibrates at an ultrasonic frequency. This process creates water droplets that are pushed into the air with a fan to create a cool lighter mist that quickly disperses humidity into the room. How do air purifiers and humidifiers affect your health? Air purifiers and humidifiers affect the air quality in our homes, therefore having an effect on our health. They both treat the air we breathe in but in very different ways. So, what are the differences and which one will be most beneficial? That depends on what is causing the symptoms that need to be treated. Neither machine is a cure but still helpful. Air purifiers pull small particles from the air and trap them in a series of filters. This helps reduce allergens in the air, including dust mites, pet dander, pollen, and mold spores. There are some purifiers on the market that can also remove volatile organic compounds or VOC. These compounds are toxic and are found in many of the cleaning products we use in our homes daily. Humidifiers do not clean the air and have no impact on the number of airborne allergens. Instead, these machines only add moisture to the air. Using a humidifier to add humidity to a room can help relieve a stuffy nose, itchy throat and eyes, dry skin and hair. If you maintain a humidity level of 40 to 60 percent, there can also be a reduction in the potency of the viruses that are in the air. Overview By now, you should know which device will work better for your circumstances when you're choosing between an air purifier vs humidifier. As you learned, both a humidifier and air purifier can be beneficial for your health and home. And in many instances, people choose to use both indoors to get the comfort and relief and they need. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.